so this commercial was about the Second Amendment. The people who are really furious about the gun control policy pivoted by Democrats. They've been actually sending this message. You know, gun lobbyists are actually behind this commercial break message saying that you should actually send text messages to eight eight seven eight seven whatever you should actually send out a message to support your right to bear arms this is a pivotal because it th in that way you can protect yourself better and why senator clara mccaskill in a formal center by the way she's from misery is a very interesting because there was a world scene going if democratic candidate wants to be a president he or she must carry that state that's a very great indicator and president obama truly managed to pull off a great victory she says that she never actually imagined she would actually see this but if donald trump somehow rigged the system to come up with a bogus litigation and uh she he brings this case to the core then the spring core less likely to be affected by the political influence would favor the political justice or equity. So it, from her perspective, it is not likely to be the case that the current core would immediately dismiss the validity of the mail-in ballots especially from the highly contested battlegrounds like Pennsylvania, because even if, you know, three different selected justices were replaced by Donald Trump, they have a loyalty issue, but that does not mean their votes so immediately and automatically result in an approval for Donald Trump's desire. That's really the case. So she actually believes in that way. Senator Claire McCaskill. By the way, she's an ex senator. And uh, another thing she says that she believes, you know, the total map depicted by these results is very similar to the one we got in 2016. Donald Trump is definitely going to have a lesser popular votes. And one another positive issue is. Joe Biden somehow managed to snatch away a uh, typical Republican state like Arizona. And this feat should not be dismissed immediately. Because once this mail-in ballots would be counted, and this exploit will be very much appreciated, eventually put him on the path of presidency. That could be palpable. From her perspective, from her vantage point, that's a visible within the grass. Of, because of the Pennsylvania, the state of Pennsylvania is definitely up for grabs. And uh, there are a few additions, notably the state of Arizona. So it's not really a scary scenario, but Biden can still carry popular votes as well as a presidency this time.